If your plans include travel this holiday season, a new weather picture could be especially helpful. Forecasters with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration released a new outlook, pointing to a classic El Nino winter with the potential for a few wild cards. Karen Kafa tells us where to seek snow and sunshine. Winter will be wetter and warmer in parts of the U.S. thanks to El Nino, a natural ocean and weather pattern in the tropical Pacific. What typically can happen when, in those cases is that the U.S. Uh, and Alaska is impacted by much more um, air of Pacific Ocean origin, which is generally warmer. That forecast according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. But John Gottschalk of NOAA's Climate Prediction Center says you should still unpack the winter coats. There will be certainly periods of below normal temperatures. There'll be uh, those Arctic outbreaks. What we're saying basically is more that there may be less, less of them and of shorter duration potentially this year. And the snow boots. El Nino brings the potential for more precipitation, especially in the Northeast, where it could deliver two or three major snowstorms. And above average precipitation as rain, snow, or icy mix that's forecast from the plains to the Southwest could be welcomed after a summer of extreme drought. Overall, it could be very much a needed benefit relief for the drought conditions that are occurring in those areas. Looking back on hallmarks of recent El Nino winters, the 2018-19 season saw the wettest winter on record for the U.S. mainland, according to NOAA, and a very strong El Nino during the 2015-16 winter contributed to the warmest winter on record for the U.S. mainland. Karen Kafa joins us from Washington, D.C. Karen, when it comes to winter weather, a lot of people want to know which parts of the country have the potential for big snow uh, and what we could see here in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, absolutely. It looks like with the El Nino pattern, the Pacific Northwest is going to buck the trend that's going to occur nationwide. So nationwide, NOAA is kind of forecasting a winter that points to warmer and wetter conditions. But in the Pacific Northwest, it's expected there'll be a little less precipitation. Now, that doesn't rule out the idea of snow entirely. In fact, when that precipitation does fall, there's always the chance it's going to meet those cold temperatures that allow it to fall. But if you look at the El Nino phenomenon in recent years, uh, places Places like Seattle and the Pacific Northwest have not had significant snow events along with it. So maybe a little bit of snow, probably not a ton of snow. And again, above average temperatures likely during the winter. So it was a brutal summer for some parts of the country. Could the El Nino winter do anything to help reverse some of the damage of that extreme summer? Absolutely. And Joyce, this is where that trend of a wetter winter comes into play. And remember, precipitation comes in a lot of different forms during the winter months. I know we always think about snow, but there's also ice and there's also rain. So basically, the forecast calls for a large swath of the southern portion of the country reaching from the plains through to the southeast that's going to see a little bit more precipitation. And that is good news for states like Texas, Louisiana, mm -hmm. Mississippi, that experienced such record heat during the summer months and they're really feeling the effects of the drought. The same goes for some states in the plains with drought conditions like Missouri and Kansas and Nebraska that are expected to see a little bit more precipitation. So hopefully forecasters are looking at this as a way for rivers to get back up to their levels that they were before the drought or at least a little closer to it. So that could be some good news there, Joyce. And some Americans, as you know, are starting to make plans for the Thanksgiving, the holiday travel. Are there some things that consumers can do to safeguard their itineraries? Absolutely. A little research ahead of time could save you a lot of headaches when you travel, Joy. So travel experts recommend doing that homework. And first of all, looking at an airline's track record with weather related delays and cancellations during the previous winter. Were they the subject of major headlines? Was there a major meltdown at some point? And if so, have they done anything to correct it? What steps have they taken? Make sure you know that before you go ahead and book that plane ticket. Another thing to look for is how the airline does handle those weather related delays. What kinds of rights do you have as a passenger? That's going to vary from airline to airline. So if you want a few more concessions, that that's going to kind of determine which airline you decide to spend your money with. And finally, have a backup plan. Obviously, you hope that you won't need it. But if, for example, your flight is grounded, is there another option that you can research ahead of time? Maybe there's a train. Maybe you could drive there. Maybe you could rent a car. But those are all things that you want to have at your fingertips before everyone else starts leaving the gate and running for the same options with a canceled flight, Joyce. Great advice. Karen Kafa in Washington.